and we have you registered executive director texas immigration law council and self neutral on hb4 is that correct now let's make that against members well, hold, of on, hold on hold on we have to correct Okay, and so you give us permission on your registration to go from neutral to against. Yes, based on what I've heard okay. today, Your Honor. All right, so we have Ann Chandler, Executive Director, Texas Immigration Law Council and Self, against HB5. Is that correct? Correct. Go right ahead. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm here to pull upon about 20 years of experience of teaching immigration law and working on immigrants to highlight a couple very unfavorable, what I think, consequences of this bill. I'm sympathetic to some of the intent, but what I'm worried about is the actual application of what the bill says. It is very clear that this bill is across the state of Texas, and what I know from working with immigrants, especially when they're talking to law enforcement, is they're usually, in almost all circumstances, very, very honest. And I've worked with immigrant, mostly survivors of violence, and there are most law enforcement officers that want to do the right things to secure the safety of their communities, but there are also some that just don't want immigrants pr present. And our laws of what it takes for probable cause is usually just an encroachment, just an ask, just an ask, it's, hey, are you here? Are you lawful? Did you cross at a border? And most likely someone is going to be honest. And if they haven't, they will say yes. So real quickly, we're going to get to that probable cause of arrest. And that is what concerns me. I believe that everybody living in our community is best when they're able to trust local law enforcement to go to them to report child abuse, rape, domestic violence, human trafficking, fentanyl, and the list goes on. And what this does is it puts our local law enforcement in a place of enforcing our immigration laws that are broken, right? They are broken. But do we wanna do that for our local law enforcement? I say we don't. It is complicated. Our local law enforcement does not have the records. It takes me sometimes months to figure out someone, whether they're lawful present. In fact, that's not defined in the act, and I don't even know what that means. What about someone who's applied for asylum? That's taken four. I have clients of 13 years waiting for the process. So um, I'm worried it'll endanger our community. And, Thank you for your time. And again, against. Against.